Welcome to the Chrome Mode Beta. My name is Robert Smith and I'm the developer behind Chrome Mode. Today I'd like to show you how to use Chrome Mode. First you'll need to go to the Google Chrome Web Store to be able to install Chrome Mode. Once you're in the Web Store, at the top left you can search for Chrome Mode. Once you see the result here, you can click on the result for more details, but to install you simply have to click the Add to Chrome blue button at the top right. It's going to ask for verification and you just click add. Now Chrome Mode is a Google TV remote for Google Chrome. This means that you can run Chrome Mode on Mac OS X, Linux, and Windows as long as you have the Google Chrome web browser installed and of course the Chrome Mode extension. Now that Chrome Mode is installed, you can see that it has added an icon to the top right corner of the Google Chrome web browser. Now at this point all you need to do is click on the icon to access the Chrome Mode use interface. Upon first opening it, it's going to immediately show you the connection manager. From here you can see a device I have on my network which is a Logitech Review Google TV device. To connect to it, I simply click on the device. It sends a request to my Google TV box and you can see on the TV it has a pairing code. I type that pairing code in make sure it's correct and click pair. Now I have successfully connected to the Google TV device. Now that I'm connected I have full control of the Google TV and all the devices that it controls as far as set top box and audio video receiver and really some other pretty cool things you can do is I've, as far as I've programmed in my Apple TV, my air conditioner, and even a dimmer light switch into my Google TV. But as you can see here, when I click the home button, I can access the home screen. I've got full directional pad control, so this just makes it really easy to navigate through my Google TV app menu. I can go back. I can control the volume on my TV and the channels as well really great thing about Chrome Mode, as long as this pop-up's open, I can have my full keyboard control from my notebook or my desktop to control my Google TV. So as you can see here, I've programmed the control button on my keyboard to be the search button from the, from the Google TV. So when I push this, it opens up the search. So now I can use the keyboard on my computer to search whatever I want on my Google TV. So I've searched for Chrome Mode. It's brought up some results here. I can go down and say, hey, I want to search for right here on Chrome, uh, on Google itself. So now I have full control of my TV through my laptop. One of the really things I've liked here as well is that I can use now this full touchpad to control the mouse on my Google TV. So it makes it really simple to navigate and to scroll as well. As long as your mouse is over the touchpad, you can use the scroll wheel. So you can scroll down, you can scroll up. And it's really easy to click on YouTube videos and bring them right up on my TV. Now I'm going to go back to the TV input and show you something really cool that I've done as well here. I have an Apple TV running in as my set-top box since I don't have a cable box. And I've been able to control and uh, program in my Apple remote from the Google TV. So as long as I'm in the TV mode, um, I can control the Apple TV as well. So you can see here I'm using the directional pad from Chrome Mode. And I've brought up my Apple TV. So not only can Chrome Mode control your Google TV, but through Google TV it can control Apple TV and you know anything connected to your TV. So a simple example here. And everything works. Now I'd also like to show you how to add custom names to devices and to connect to devices that may not have been able to be discovered on your network. To do this you simply click the plus button at the top right. From here you type in the IP address of the device that you want to connect to. So in my case I'm going to go ahead and connect to the device that I already have. I only have one Google TV device. And instead of leaving this blank, I'm going to instead call it about living room TV. So now I can connect
connect to it, I'll have to repair in order to, to reset this with a different name. So I type in the pairing code B051 and pair. And now I'm connected. And now if I open up the connection manager again here at the top left, you can see it's been saved as living room TV. So if you have multiple Google TV devices, this is really great. Um, I need to get myself some more, but I would love to have my whole house listed here and being able to control every TV in the house will be really nice. Uh, and in order to, to clear the list, if there's any problems, I've added the, a trash can button here. You delete this, clears out the list of all the devices. So that way you can always start fresh over, change the names out. And as time goes on, I will be fully developing all this out to where the buttons will be customizable, rearrangeable, and to, so that you can set your remote to be for what you want. Because everyone's entertainment system is a little bit different. As you can see here with mine, I don't have a cable box, but instead I have another smart TV device. Now I'd like to show you my favorite feature of Chrome, which is Fling. Fling allows you to send your currently open tab from Chrome to open up directly on your TV. For example here, I have a video on YouTube I'd like to watch on my TV. I've navigated to the video and now I just open up Chrome and click the fling button. This has immediately opened the video up on my TV. The video will immediately start playing and if I'd like I can use the touchpad here to make it full screen. <laughs> And I can also pause and escape the full screen. I was really excited to have Chrome Mode working and in doing some of the basic functionality, so I went ahead and made this beta version available. There's still a lot of things left that I need to work out, so I appreciate everyone's feedback and any suggestions that you can provide to make Chrome Mode better. If you'd like to contribute, don't hesitate to visit chromemote.com forward slash donate. I'm working every day to make Chromemote better.